principle of the ERC is a very simple one. Find and fund the best researchers in Europe and those who come from outside of Europe who want to work here. My name is Cathy Craig. I'm originally from Northern Ireland. And my name is uh, Michael Osanti. My name is Alberto Broggi. I graduated from the University of Padua uh, in physics. And then I did my PhD in Pavia, University of Pavia. And I'm a member of uh, the Department of Cancer Biology. I'm Matthew Holt. I'm a research scientist here at the VIB in Leuven. I'm very much a product of the European science system and quite proud of it. Uh, I'm a professor at the local university and actually I'm working in uh, uh, driverless vehicles. I recently started as a research fellow at the School of Biochemistry in Bristol and I'm just starting to build up my research group here. Well, my, my project is basically around the idea of how dynamic sensory information can be used to guide movement. Within the ERC context, what I do is uh, I, may, I have invented a new generation of uh, sensors. We remove some part of it and we make a little mechanical sort of diving board, like the one that you use in swimming pool. Yes. Okay. So now if something happens to this diving board, the diving board will move or vibrate, but will move from its original position, right? Okay. The profile, I would say, is someone who is driven by curiosity, by passion for science. When I was a child, I used to drive my parents crazy by constantly asking them questions about how things work. Now I'm finding answers about how molecules work using a next generation mass spectrometer. So in this way, we are somehow reproducing what happened, for instance, during the Aquila earthquake with this machine. This is why I really want this machine. And I really thank the European Union that gave me a chance to build it. Science never stops. It cannot stop. It's, uh, there is something compulsive about it. You have to do it. So I try to understand exactly uh, how some virus particles like the HIV-1 uh, multiply inside a host cell and then escape the host cell to further infect other cells. Today, I'm actually sat here in what will be my new lab fully funded by the ERC and in this lab we hope to unveil the mysteries uh, surrounding a cell from the uh, mammalian central nervous system called the astrocyte which is of fundamental importance we think both in basic neuroscience and also in terms of neurodegenerative diseases. My research since many years now is uh, about studying how to let large groups of agents collaborate. ERC gave me the possibility to bring this technology from the blackboard to the market now with a, with a new company. So for me it's been life-changing as a researcher in the sense that I've been able to take things to a new level. I have been able to uh, triple my research group, go from four or five people to now about 15 and this is very important in, in our research. The European Commission has proposed on the horizon 2020 that the budget of the ERC will be almost doubled. And in this way we make it clear that we want to invest in the best brains in Europe. The ERC project has made a big difference to the way in which I conduct my research because it allows me to consolidate uh, my funding into a single source. And that really meant a lot to me and to my group. I think it's an incredible support for the work I, I am doing. Advanced ERC grants and other ERC grants are very important because they're high risk but very high impact. 36 ERC grantees received prestigious international scientific prizes and awards so far. Amongst them, three Nobel laureates and three Fields medalists. Okay, well, for me personally, the ERC has been a fantastic boost.
it's allowed me to change the emphasis of my research. I think having been awarded the EIC grant is a really, really great opportunity for me. You are the generation who has the capacity and the possibility to build a truly European science. And we are counting on you to change the scientific landscape of Europe in the way how you and we envision it.